Hey guys, I'm Greg Jones with Engine Builder. We are at the 2021 PRI show in the Jones Racing booth. I'm joined here by Jeff Baldwin of Baldwin Racing Engines. And uh, right over here we got a small block Chevy for demolition derby competition. And it's gonna be our engine of the week. Engine Builder's Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrave, Precision Performance Pengrave, always the original green oil. L-Ring DOS Original, leading technology, leading service. SCAT Crankshafts, everything for your LS engine. And NPW and Engine and Performance Warehouse, for all your parts needs. Jeff, as always, appreciate you know catching up with you. You know, you've uh, had some engines uh, that we've covered in the past, and this one caught our eye as we were passing by here. And uh, you know, for a demolition derby engine, you know, there's a little bit more to it than what might you know most people might think. Right, for sure. So, Jeff, can you walk us through the engine a little bit and tell us what you guys got in here? Yep. So basically, we start most of the builds with 355. You know, some are 383 if they want extra power and torque, but for the most part, 355s. Uh, lower ends, typically, you know, aftermarket crank rod, piston assemblies, forge, you know, want some, some not. But, yeah. Uh, pretty much always an aftermarket head to handle the heat better. Uh, we have piston cooling jets in them, roller cam bearings, thermal coatings, you know, anything we can do to handle extra heat. Right. That's the name of the game is getting to run for an hour with no water. Right. Once that once the radiator is gone. So and that's uh, kind of the, the environment they live in. That's right? the environment they live in. Yeah. So you know before if you just put a standard cam bearing in the bat it will just melt. So that's the that's the weakest link in the whole wheel. Gotcha. Gotcha. But, uh, yeah. Usually she'll be running a two barrel holly um, built from willies typically or one of them, but. and then uh, the engine cradle that's a fully half inch plate steel wrapped and and you guys build that we uh, we did have our own back years ago but we okay. stay so busy with engines nowadays yeah. we don't have time for the cradle side so gotcha. you get them from ski from s and s there's several people that build them but uh, this is a brand new from s and it's, a, it's yeah. a pretty sweet deal so yeah no it's uh yeah. looks just as good as the engine right it's, uh, yeah it's yeah, pretty fancy really this is i think this is probably the first one they built so okay they're not really good yeah so. very good then you got the, the jones drive on the front there yeah, jones drive they they updated we, we were running just a plain jane billet pulley and if, if something does get against there and take a hit they they just couldn't handle it so yeah. Jones obviously is a lot heavier duty. It's hard anodized. So they just hold up a ton better. Yeah. So, put one of their fans on it for display. Obviously, that probably wouldn't be necessarily part of the real competition. Was, yeah. That, that would. It, it was too expensive for that kind of because you're going to knock the fan off every time you run it anyway. So, yeah. yeah. Now they do make a full steel shroud for them as well um, to protect that. But for out here, we just put the thing on for show yeah so gotcha yeah and then uh, uh shown belt up right headers no and, and yeah that. yeah and then is there is there function to the headers coming straight up versus uh coming out of the bottom of the car and basic like that? clearance okay I'll just try to get that try to get the heat away from everything as yeah. much as you can gotcha very good. And yeah. then, uh, do you want to talk a little bit about the oiling system set up for an engine like that? Yeah, so obviously bigger oil pumps, piston cooling jets, um, roller cam bearings to help keep that from melting. Yeah. Uh, we do a lot of these with roller or with the uh, oiling valve cover set up in it to keep the rockers and springs. Anything we can do to cool it. Because once the water is gone, the only thing we have left is oil. <laughs> yeah. So we have to be able to cool it and keep it running somehow. So you know, you'll try to extend that run time as long as you can. Right. So that's the name again. Last one running cashes a check, so that's what it's right. all about. Right, and and that brings me to my next question. You know, a lot of people again, you know, whatever their conception of demo derbies might be, right. uh, you know, there's actually some pretty big money in it these days, and Very. and obviously it's a big market for what you guys do. Yeah, they, everybody when they think derby, they think county fair from 20 years ago. Knock the windows out, 
go run. Yeah. You know, they might make it five minutes, they might make it ten minutes. Those days, although there are still some of those shows, this this stuff's run on, on national team shows all over the country. A lot of northern states, but like one was Blizzard Bash in Topeka. That was a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago. I think that was a twenty thousand win show. So there's big money. Yeah. Big money. Yeah. So yeah. Well, they, awesome. just, they just transfer the drive line from car to car, so yeah. that's what it's all about. Yeah, and then how often does an engine like that need to get refreshed or, uh, you it, know, it, 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 it takes damage, I guess you got to yeah. look if at it. it they get it really, I mean, if they go an hour with no water, they'll typically, depending on how it's done, not all are done the same, so if they don't have the good cam bearings and all the extra stuff, they don't make it as long. Mm-hmm. But we, we got some engines that have been out there for years and we've never touch them you know and others yeah. they'll get one or two runs and they'll burn it down yeah so it varies now obviously the uh performance capabilities of this engine are quite different than you know drag racing yeah. or you know yeah. high performance stuff but you know how much horsepower does an engine like this produce these typically there for a long time we were building more and more and more power everybody wanted big sound big power blah blah, blah whatever so um we still do some of those, but the sport has kind of migrated back down to more of a tame engine. So these will make 375, okay. 400 horse. You know? yeah. So it's definitely yeah. not about the power, it's about the longevity. Yeah, it's, it's about, about staying out staying there and the, having the endurance. endurance. So you gotta pull compression back and good, good parts internally to keep them running. Yeah, so. yeah, very good. Well, as always, Jeff, we appreciate you giving us some of your time. No and problem. You know, it's awesome to see some of your engines out here and, you know. Guys, make sure you check out Baldwin Racing Engines. Check out Engine Builder for more content. And we appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you guys next time.